I chose to study at the University of Southampton um, mainly because uh, my brother actually went here and um, from that I knew I had a really good reputation and um, that he was having a really great time here as well. So it's a great city and um, a great campus as well. So it's had that kind of assurance for me in terms of uh, doing the UCAS process and, and henceforth. I'm a bit of a tree lover. Um, in terms of environmental science, I think it's a really progressive sort of um, subject. And I think as, as the subject grows, I think the demand will grow as well. And so will job opportunities. And it's kind of like a progressive and kind of exciting sort of field to work in. The lecturers are just incredible. They are so on your level and so on your side in terms of um, helping you and investing in you as, as a person and also the things that you're, you're passionate about. I mean, environmental science is such a wide discipline and um, to have those specialisms with your lecturers, it really gives you an insight into um, sort of where you want to go in terms of a career. And um, they are really the, the key to the course and the key to being successful in it. The fieldwork is a really key component of, uh, of environmental science. It's the way we do things as, as environmental scientists, it's kind of key to, to who we are and the scientific process. So um, in terms of what we did, you know, you may be um, up to your neck in a river one week um, and then doing something completely different the next in, inside the city. So it, t it has that sort of um, variation within it. And um, that's really fascinating to, uh, to go from those extremes. In between second and third year, I undertook um, a work placement with a company called Ether. And uh, Ether are uh, an air pollution consultancy, so they work around, around the world um, trying to help countries and governments really understand their air pollution and the emissions they produce. And um, that was fascinating to, to go into the workplace um, whilst still doing a degree to sort of fine tune my third year into um, hopefully what I want to go into now. And fortunately I got picked up by them and hired and um, that's what I do, do now. So this is my day off. <laughs> The course has helped so much. It's, it's variation um, really helps you to home in onto to what specialism you want to go for. And um, like I said, it's such a wide discipline. And to have that um, sort of narrowing of pathways as you progress through your degree is really essential. And um, yeah, I'm going to change it for the world. So Hanson's a green city. Um, it's spread out as well. It doesn't really feel like a city to me. It feels like a, a collection of towns. And um, the, the key side is, is fascinating and also just the, the location of it, being on the coast and being in the new forest. Um, for, a, for a nature lover like me, that's, um, you root the benefits of that and uh, to go on some weekend trips to the new forest is an essential and a must do. If I could give one piece of advice to anyone going through university or coming into it, I think um, confidence is, is key to everything. Um, not only in your, in your course and your studies, but in university life, in um, your societies and your, your hobbies, your passions, your sports, whatever it may be, confidence really gives you, um, it's a tool to kind of open doors and um, make the most of this experience, because it is an experience.